Hey YouTube, just making a little video here. Uh, I got a mini bike the other day for my friend Brandon, so I traded him the speaker set for it, or a surround sound set for it. But here's the mini bike frame right here and handlebars. They're not painted yet. I wish I could sandblast them, but my sandblaster is fucking way too small for them. Uh, I'm gonna do it two tone green and uh, yellow. It's gonna be pretty sick. Um, so that over here paint, painted the uh, kickstand and some uh, spacers and well washers and um, a spring and these little uh, spring holders those go to the suspension the only suspension on there is to the handlebars I don't even know if it works that great but painted these up yellow and black um, I use rattle can spray paint, or spray paint and, and uh, some people, especially me, is like, hey, well, rattle cans and uh, don't really have no durability to them. They're fucking garbage for paint, which they are. They are. You could use better stuff, spray paint or no, spray paint, but um, automotive paint, spray gun and shit, real good hardener and shit like that, but. I have a spray spray gun, in fact, um, just haven't used this from Harbor Freight. I'll do a review on it. Well, maybe I shouldn't because I haven't done anything with it. But, um, yeah, like I said, you know, the spray paint isn't that great. It, it uh, has no durability even when you put clear coat on it and shit. And uh, you leave it out in the sun for a while, it still isn't that great. But my secret is I use a toaster oven right here. It goes up to... 450 degrees. I leave little parts in there. Just a little on um, what's this called? Alden Beach Slick Six uh, Slice Toaster Oven Slash Boiler. It works great. It works great. I suggest to anybody to use this. Um, I I found it on a form the other day. Like everybody was like, hey, is it? Like I was thinking, is it all right to use a uh, kitchen fucking um, oven for them? and you know parts and shit when they're painted uh, baked paint on and everybody's like yeah it's all right but I wouldn't use the kitchen one I would buy a new one or an old one put it in the, the garage or my basement or whatever because it stinks up the fucking oven so bad that you wouldn't want to paint or bake any food in it and shit which is a uh, the right idea but somebody said hey a toaster oven and, and I flipped because everybody else on the forum was like, fuck, we never even noticed or uh, thought about that. And we used it and shit. Some people say they didn't work out for them, but it works out great for me. It fucking bakes on the paint and shit real good. And it's durable. Um, like I said, I used uh, rattle can paint, like the cheap ass stuff, like cheapest stuff you can find. Uh, the generic it says like uh, paint, you know paint enamel or some shit it has a little like it's generic it's colored white and shit and then I use Rust-Oleum paint and both work great for doing this the clear coat the bake it on and stuff yeah there's better bit like I already said that I already said that but I, I can't say anything about um, powder coating or fucking automotive paint I'm gonna try uh what's it called um exhaust paint and put it in there because a couple things on my engine I haven't even made a video about this thing yet but it, the engine on it's kind of fucked up and I'm I'm damn near getting it running the other day I fucking yanked it over a few times but it wanted to go it wanted to go so fucking bad the last yank I did it sputtered up and it wanted to and then the fucking pull cord assembly just fucking broke a chunk of it went flying out and I had to clean it out of the flywheel cover and shit so I had to go to the uh, salvage yard which is like right down the street from me go grab another one but uh, I'm gonna try exhaust paint and put it in there it should it should work uh, it's fucking exhaust paint so it should work um it's pretty good it's pretty good shit and like I said uh, it's a great idea um some people might say it's sketchy or whatever, but for me it works. I mean, 450 degrees, I uh, just leave it in there for like, um, 
about small parts, I leave it in there for like seven minutes or so. If I feel it doesn't isn't dried up enough, I just crank it up a little bit. You know, at the time we're just ding, 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 put it up again. But uh, I suggest doing this to anybody. Uh, it just works great. I can't believe it. Fucking, uh, I, I, I fucking can't believe it. Like, uh, all my friends, you know, they use rail can paint. I mean, they, I'm not going to talk anything about Trevor and Gary's experience with it because I don't know what they're, um, well, yeah, they have experience with it. I'm not saying they don't. They've been painting for years. But uh, as far as, you know, scratches and fucking chipping and shit, I don't know anything about theirs. But mine, you know, it just, I fucking can't stand it. It chipped too easily and shit when I just threw, you know, let it sit for like a week or two. It never got durability to it at all. And I'm about to put it together sometime soon. I, I fucking hope it stays together. It should. Um, I'm hoping it does. Like I said, the the chipping and shit from just not even baking it pissed me off and scratched it up and shit when I'm putting it all together. And doing this, I, I fucking, I hope, I hope it does. I hope it works because now it's pretty fucking hard to paint it. But this video is going on way too long for something too small. Well, it's pretty informative. But thanks for watching. If you have any other ideas, shoot a comment. And thanks. Bye.